congratulations, Mitch. Uh, how pleased are you and how easy a decision was it for you to sign off? Um, no, thank you very much. Uh, no, very, very easy decision. Um, I've loved my time here at the club ever since I've come in here, kind of two years ago now. And um, I'm just starting to probably find, find my form a little bit and, um, and play some footy. So that's what I'm most happy about. And um, the group we've got here is... Uh, no, I've been loving it, so yeah, it's very, very exciting for me. It's, um, have you exceeded sort of your own expectations? Of course, I mean, you had a pretty disastrous start in, in round one of your, your first game, but from there and where you've been able to go to after having that year off, has, um, has it sort of it could have gone much better for you over the last year or so? Um, I don't know if my ex expectations probably particularly have been um, exceeded. I think um, I've always probably had that inner belief that um, I've I, would have, I was able to be up to the level. Um, I think what I'm really pleased with is kind of, well, firstly Adelaide um, for backing me in, and and um, I've obviously had some down performances this year, but the coaching staff especially have um, have backed me in, and um, yeah, obviously I want to I want to repay that faith as much as I can. But um, yeah, obviously I'm pleased with how I've got how I've gone this year, but also I've within myself I've got I've got a lot of uh, a lot of growth to go so I'm I'm excited for that in the future. What did it mean to you when the club sort of backed you in after you did your shoulder in round one of, of last year that you know sort of took a, a big leap of faith in you? What sort of um, confidence uh, do you get when, when the club puts their, their faith in you? Yeah, I mean um, I can't really thank the club enough. They've um, they obviously see a little bit in me and and I'm really really happy um, being here so um, with that, I'm, I'm just so grateful that the, that the club's back in and um, I'll be able to take confidence out of that and into the last remaining games this year, into the off-season, then hopefully we go another couple of steps next year and, um, yeah, keep going, keep going high. Mitch, can you talk us through the process, mate, when you're playing this year, coming out of contract, when did it all start to gain momentum and build to you putting pen to paper? Um, well, I guess there's, there's been... There's been um, you know, a lot of times, obviously, my manager's doing the work behind the scenes, and um, and for me, it was to play as good a footy as I could to, you know, put my best foot forward. Um, there hasn't really been a time where I've questioned whether I want to be here or not. So, um, probably the last month or two has has been building, and I've I've been able to probably play some of my best footy the last maybe three or four weeks, and and put the best foot forward. And um, yeah, I mean, we've I've agreed on a contract with their club, and um, and yeah, as I said, can't be more grateful for the opportunity they've given me, and hopefully I can repay that. When did you manage your call and say, right, the deal's done, let's do it? Um, I think is that timeline is that is that in recent weeks? Yeah, recent weeks. Yeah, yeah. Very, very recent. Yeah, um, obviously there's um, yeah been been a bit of stuff going on just in terms of uh, we got text done, we got um, we got pistol done, and and. Uh, and yeah, now, now, now it's me, so I'm very grateful. And was it difficult playing the year? Does that enter a player's mind, knowing you're out of contract? Does it affect you at all? I mean, the last couple of weeks it hasn't, because you've played really well, but is, is that ever a consideration in a, in a year like this? Um, I mean, it probably plays on your mind a little bit, um, but I probably found myself within my career particularly that I got rookie listed to Brisbane. Um, in my first four years, I was um, had one-year deals um, like every single year, so... Um, I, I think I've probably got a little bit used to it. So I mean, with signing a two-year and um, and the club backing me again, I've I've never really been in this probably position I'm in. So it's um, that's why I'm, I'm so grateful and um, and looking to hopefully repay the faith. Is this the longest contract you've signed two years? Well, I signed two years. Sorry, when I came here. Yeah. Um, but it's a little bit different where I've probably signed in the off season and and at the end of the season for you know one year deals my my whole career so it is nice to um, yeah to have two years now and um, yeah and really kind of have the club back of me and hopefully um, can do some good things with this group um, in the in the uh, future very Is soon. Half back your um, preferred position. Well, I've actually probably moved on to the wing a little bit the last month or so, um, and I'm actually really enjoying it there. I can get up up the ground a little bit. I kicked a goal on the weekend, which is nice. I kicked one against um, at Collingwood as well. So um, yeah, it's a little bit of a change up. I think Dawes has probably slid back a little bit more to finish off this off this year, but probably having the dual position role is um, he's going to help me and probably going to help the team going forward as well. When you can um, when things aren't working or um, we're looking for something a little bit different during the game, it's um, it's going to open up opportunities for me, which is um, obviously really positive. Good chance to, to have more wins this year than last. Do you think looking forward to next year that that ascent will continue? Well, I, yeah, well, I definitely hope so. That's for sure. Um, in saying that, though, we've got we've got some pretty important matches this year. We want to finish off the year really, really strong. And, um, you know, our last two, two weeks have been really good. We've, we've performed really well. And, um, and obviously we'll be looking to do 
um, the same this week against the Kangas and then obviously to finish off the year with the showdown. So um, we'll be looking to build and have a, yeah, well, these two weeks are very, very important as well. So. Are there similarities in um, what you saw up close and personal at Brisbane and the ascent that they were able to make quickly and, and what you're seeing with, with this group here at all? Um, I think so at times, yeah, definitely. As um, obviously my time at Brisbane, um, I probably left when they were just coming on the up. They just um, obviously played in two final series, um, but when I first got there, they were obviously on the bottom of the ladder. So, um, with oh, I think the group now is just so exciting. With um, obviously the, the youngsters that are coming through at the moment, and um, yeah, some of the talent coming through, and the, and the hard work and dedication, I reckon, is probably one thing that I've really noticed coming here. Is um, from the whole group in particular. It's led from you know, the top boys being Texas line of the old dogs in here. And then, um, you know, you've got, you've got your blokes like Saligo and Barry coming through who are, um, who are crazy trainers and, and also great people. So um, that's why I think I'm most excited and, um, and that's why I reckon we're going to get our most growth is just the, the training intensity and, and the will to win, I reckon, from the boys is um, obviously going to take us um, very well going in the future. What does a, a game like last week do for you personally, Mitch? Um, I've probably been waiting for the for the game where I've um, you know got a bit more of the ball and ha and had a bit more impact for for to the footy and um, I guess it does great for my confidence in in a sense as um, I've been working pretty hard um, you know behind the scenes and doing what I can do to get out in the park and um, and play some good footy so um, yeah as I said earlier I've got you know I've got my own goals and my own um, achievements and. Um, you know, I, I haven't really. I feel like I haven't really grazed the surface on what I can. You know, my full potential and what I can produce. So, um, you know, all my steps from from now will just be to continue to develop and, um, you know, hopefully become the best footballer I can be. What are some of those goals? Would you mind sharing them with us? Um, I mean, not like not like anything like a, um, like too particular, but just want to be like a really, you know, really good person and footballer and um, and try and do my part to kind of carry the club to, to a successful time. You know, I, w I really want to be a part of a success and um, Adelaide, um, growing up as a, as a Crows fan, growing up as an SA boy, you know, I kind of know how, um, you know, big Adelaide Crows can be when they're on top and um, and that's a footy I want to be a part of and that's a footy I want to play. So. Um, there's, there's probably a couple, yeah. You're easily the best footballer in your family now. You're <laughs> one game for Big Johnny. But, um, what, what was the family's reaction when they found out you, you, know, you were rewarded with a, another contract? Um, yeah, no, they're, they're obviously super stoked. Johnny's, um, you know, he's my biggest advocate. He, he um, obviously puts a lot of time and, um, and no, you know, he's always bringing me up and, and but just as all my siblings and stuff are. So my, I'm very, very fortunate. I've got the, a really um, big kind of supportive network with my family, being a, being a big family, of course, and um, and those around me where I'm um, super grateful. So, um, you know, they're all pumped up and, and I guess that makes me smile as well because you don't just do it for yourself. You kind of, you can, you do it for, um, you know, those, those around you and, um, and it's really pleasing that they can um, kind of share the journey with me as well. Is that the biggest crowd you've played in front of on the weekend? Um, 50 cal probably. They were, um, they were roaring there in the last quarter when they were coming. So um, it was a, it was a pretty surreal experience uh, to be honest. It was um, I was very very happy to get the win obviously, but with how um, how kind of loud that was getting early in that fourth quarter it was um, was pretty crazy. So um, I'm, I'm sure that's what finals atmosphere is probably like. And and. Um, yeah, it was it was very exciting, and um, no, it was it was good fun to be out there. That's for sure. Give you and probably some of the other young boys a bit of a taste for that sort of atmosphere. Yeah, I think so. I think so. The atmosphere was um, yeah, obviously incredible. They turned out for JK, and um, you know, as they should, he's a superstar of the game, um, and that was um, that was an incredible experience. But um, it'd be pretty crazy, I reckon, when we turn that around and we can start packing out Adelaide Oval again, and um, and you know, having those big games back home, and I reckon that would be a pretty cool experience as well. Um, last couple. I was saying, any clauses in your contract about not being a lockdown defender anymore? <laughs> no clauses. Um, I'm pretty happy to play where um, where I'm needed. Um, but I'm enjoying my time on the wing now and getting a, getting getting ahead of the footy a little bit, and um, so that's good fun. Yeah. Great.